What's up, beautiful people of YouTube? I am super excited because today we get to talk about the Ulanzi Zero Y travel tripod. And it's everything I dreamed of. First things first, I hope the audio is good for y'all because uh, as you can see, I'm not wearing the wireless go-to. Uh, I've got the uh, Rode NTG boomed just above me right here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and uh, it took me about a week to get everything together, but I hope the investment pays off. So, all right, let's start with the box. This is the box that comes in, super, super uh, simple. This is, let me get this out of the way. This is more of a unboxing and first impressions. I just got it, so I haven't really had a chance to use it. I did take it out earlier and kind of mess around a little bit and get some B-roll of it and all, but I, I absolutely love this thing. It is, I know most of the videos out there right now are comparing this thing to the Peak Design Travel Tripod, and which it does favor it quite a bit. Uh, but I personally cannot compare it to the Peak Design Travel Tripod because I have, the uh, the aluminum version. I don't have the carbon fiber because I mean the aluminum version really wasn't in my price range either. But I definitely couldn't afford the carbon fiber. But here she is in all her glory. It just feels so good in the hand. I mean, it just. I mean, tri tripod legs have been round around since the beginning of tripods, and I don't know why they decided to change it. I mean, it's they've, they've been round forever, and it, there's a reason for that. But uh, let's go ahead and go through what's in the box. Um, if you do own the Peak Design Travel Tripod, this, this is going to look very familiar to you. But this is the case it comes in. Um, don't know if you noticed that. Very, very familiar. It does fit in the case a lot better than the other one. And uh, I promise I'm going to stop comparing because I really want to highlight how nice this thing actually is. Um, so since they include here, this is a wrench, which is way more useful than, uh, the phone mount. I'd never used the phone mount in the other one, but this one, you know, it just fits all your screws, to tighten things up. I, I find that to be way more useful, but since there's not a phone mount hidden in there, this is what comes in the box. So you get... Uh, you get the bag and you get a strap to go with the bag or case bag whatever you want to call it and then it also comes with the Ulanzi ST27 phone mount it's got a Arca Swiss plate on the bottom of it uh, I can see that being very useful I already have a great Ulanzi phone mount so uh, I probably won't be using that, but I'm glad it came with it. That's very thoughtful of them, and I really appreciate it. Yolanzi certainly knows the key to my heart. And I made a video about how much I love Yolanzi products. Uh, we'll put that up in this corner or this corner, and you can check that out. Um, but the key to my heart is usually somewhere with RGB or carbon fiber. Beeline straight to the center of here, right here. I love this thing so much. Of course, it comes with a plate. It's not, I use the uh, the F38 plates because it works with uh, my Peak Design Capture Clip, but it's very similar. It just doesn't have the things on the bottom for it. So you get a plate. Um, let's talk about, I, I, I swear, if, if you can't afford it, save up and get it. It is, I think this is gonna be the last tripod. I have to buy and I, I know my wife certainly hopes so but I have so many tripods and the problem with tripods is you don't know how good they are until you buy it or how bad they are 
And so I started out with a, you know, buying those gray $10 ones from Walmart or whatever. Or, uh, and then the first nice one I bought was a slick, but it was huge and heavy. And then I bought a K&F and it was light, but it wouldn't fit in my bag. And then so I finally saved up and I pitched in and bought this one. But it the aluminum is incredible. It's almost five pounds right here. I mean, you could work out with this thing. So um, I've never, you know, uh, you just can't find, you, you can't, you don't know if it's good until you buy it. So um, it is made of carbon fiber. It weighs, they're saying 1.1 kilos, which is like a little over two pounds, like two point, a kilo is 2.2. .2, so I'd say it's about two and a half pounds. It's significantly lighter than the other one. Um it is quite a bit taller than, let's see, hold that up. It is quite a bit taller, but that doesn't matter because it fits in the bag so nice. But really the, 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 the thing that I love the most about this is, all right, there is a couple, okay, let's start here. I'm so excited, I just can't get it. All right, look, if you want to adjust the ball head, Boom. And you can do it without having to raise it. I mean, you don't have, you know, 90 degrees, but you can still adjust it while it's sitting there. And it's got a level on top. But when you put your plate on there, it does kind of cover that, that level up a little bit. But, you know, that's one of my biggest complaints. Most of my paid work is, is real estate. And sometimes I just need to move it a little bit without the whole dang ball head. Uh, moving or having to raise it up but if you need to just turn it just turn this and the, you know you got the the pano right there and if this thing gets in the way watch this you pull it out and turn it you can adjust it look at that oh like if it was pointed up that would be in the way you couldn't grab that so turn it and boom there it is perfect uh, if you need to raise it up, let me square that a little bit. If you need to raise it up, just a simple, well, you would have these out. Just a simple pull of that lever and shoot, there she goes. No knobs, no dials, nothing like that. Just a simple pop it up and there she goes. Um, I've never bought a tripod that had the twist lock legs. I always felt like that would be something that I wouldn't enjoy. And uh, uh, I, I hope to never know if I would like it or not because it just seems like it'd be aggravating. And they have figured out the very good way, like, you know, you can open all those up at one time. And let's just say that you, you're putting it up and you got all of them open like that. Look, what's this? You just close them, boom, and close them. So there, uh, I did Google promo codes for Ulanzi, and, and quite a few of them came out. And I got this one significantly cheaper than what they were asking for. Um, I don't know if it's fair to Ulanzi for me to say, so I'm not going to say. But um, let's see, the maximum height is 51 inches tall. The weight is 1.1 uh, kilos or 2.2 pounds. It has a, the ball head has a payload capacity of 18 kilos, which I think works out to just under 40 pounds or right at 40 pounds. There is a quarter 20 thread here on the side for mounting any kind of accessory. Um, and I can't wait to use this thing. It even looks good in my bag. Like, it, it's so nice. So I did buy it on my own money. That's not sponsored. Uh, maybe next time, Ilanzi, you can hook me up. But check this out. This is another thing. So let's raise this up. All right. If you need to go to portrait mode while you're while you're set up, you got your camera mounted. You need to go to portrait mode. Watch this. You can go that way, or you can go that way. Or you can go that way. So there you have options. You can go either direction, 90 degrees. All right. And here's the thing with the peak design, I should, I don't have enough space to have a table and all, show all y'all everything. But so 
with the Peak Design first. Let's roll this up. I said I wasn't going to do a whole bunch of comparisons, but let's be honest. This is a direct competitor to this. I mean, this this is Yulanzi saying, uh, I wish you would to Peak Design. And you know what? Peak Design, yeah, I wish they would. So if you want to go to portrait mode, that's how much range of motion you have. Right there. Boom, boom. And sometimes, I mean, for real, like, you need a little bit more angle. I do a lot of Milky Way stuff. And pointing up, you know, that would be it. So I would have to take the camera off and spin it 90 degrees, put it back on, and then go from there. But with this one, all you got to do is turn. I might have to raise it up a little bit more. She's still new. So you're in portrait mode orientation. All you got to do is turn this, this pano knob right here. And look at that. You could rotate your camera 360 degrees if you wanted to. I mean, just everything that this tripod was missing, this one has, including weight, like lack of weight. It just, this one was almost perfect. Almost. And maybe I would have been happier with the carbon fiber model, but I really don't think I would have because it's just not as stable as I would like it to be. And I, I can't pay $700 for anything. I mean, I, I got lenses I didn't pay $700 for. So this one is just a great alternative. I mean, I say alternative. Really, it's the only one you should you should have. And I did have to order it directly from Ulanzi because U.S. stores didn't have it in stock yet. And so it took it took a while. Well, it only took like three days for it to get to from China to the U.S. But once it hit the U.S., it took several weeks to get to the house. So, um, like I said, this is just a kind of like an unboxing and first impressions. I am truly, truly stoked about it. And I, I just can't wait to get out there and start using it. Um, and as someone who's bought at least a dozen tripods, I can 100% from the bottom of my heart recommend this tripod to anyone. And... I mean, just the weight alone. You know, we do a lot of hiking. The other day I was at the beach and I had my bag with this tri with the Peak Design tripod in it. I'm trying to walk through the sand. I was struggling. This is, I mean, think about, this is the same weight as four cheeseburgers. I mean, that's nothing. Or, I mean, let's say Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches. It's the same weight as four Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches. I know everybody knows how much that weighs. So, um, short and sweet, you need to get you one. It's not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. I truly love you, Lonzi. And sorry, Coleman, I've never really heard of you. But uh, y'all did a great job. Definitely. I will recommend this to anyone who ever asked. And my wife is tickled to death that I said that I will never need another one. But, you know, something will come along later. You know, that's it, man, of it. But um, thanks for watching. And when I'm editing this video, I know I'm going to forget to talk about something. Here's a little spec sheet. Let's see. Okay, it's got five five leg sections. I already showed you all that. Maximum height is 50. Oh, maximum height without the center column is 51.9 inches. Maximum height with center column is 61.6 inches, so the column's 10 inches. Minimum height, it'll get down to 6 inches. And folded height is 16.6. Um, head weight capacity, 3 kilograms. So what's that, 6.6 .6 pounds? Um, center column weight capacity, 18 kilograms. So that's 30, that's like almost 40. And then the weight of it is 1.1 kilograms, which is like probably 2.4. I don't know. So it's a uh, push button. It, it clicks. It doesn't lock, but it clicks. Here, let's just see how wide this thing will get. I know you can flip it around. 
and do the the macro stuff but I've never seen anybody do it and I've also never done it myself so I guess that's as low as you can get I don't know I love it I mean it's just it's a uh, I love it I guess that's gonna do it for this one like I said I just I was so excited I was gonna try to wait and record the unboxing and everything we have volleyball games going on and and I just I had to it sat in the box for like probably two hours and I'm just looking at it and looking at it and I had to I had to do it I haven't seen where there are gonna be any short falling uh, downfalls yet but maybe getting back to level will be a little aggravating you know because with this one if you want to be level all you got to do is put it in its well yeah is it, it it snaps in tight so I know that's flat as long as the tripods even you know I know that's flat I could see where that might be I can see where that might be kind of an issue, but they put a level on there. I don't know. It's great. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, do me a favor, hit the like button. It costs nothing, and it really lets me know how I'm doing and kind of encourages me to keep making these kind of videos for you. Um, if you think I've earned it, a sub would be cool. But if I didn't, then maybe I can get you on the next one. And with that being said, take care of yourselves. I know you deserve it. Peace.